Okay, so we're at uh, build stage uh, sh presentation number two for this 27 inch runabout. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what I've done up to this point so far and give you an idea of what the layout's going to be for the next little bit for the next segment. Um, what I've done is I've, I've, I've already had the backbone and all of the pieces cut. Now, what I wanted to do was to fit it together. Now I'm fitting it with, I'm going to put it on a flat top. I'm not going to do a rounded top, I'm just going to keep it a flat top so that I can keep it watertight and sealed up. So what I've got planned here is I've got it on a table and you can see that it's pretty close to lined up for what's going to make a flat top. I've got a couple of sections where it's a little thicker, a little thinner. I'm going to have to work that out. That can be easily worked through. My big idea here is, is I want to try to have a nice smooth backbone section. Okay. Now I've also made a bow section. You can see here there's the seam. Now that seam goes down and across and then up. Now if we turn the boat over you can see this is the other section and then I put another piece on the outside of that to make it a little bit more stable. Now I haven't screwed any of this I've just glued it all. This is all glued so far. The bow itself is this type of door skin cut three sections and then glued and then kept straight so we have as you see here a perfectly straight backbone okay now this backbone is going to have some flex this is what I was hoping for when I was going to be building this I'll show you what I'm talking about the flex itself is going to be in the bend this way and sorry about that with that bend I don't want to have any bend this way but there is going to be some so it'll make it a little more stable when it's cruising across the waves so this is going to make a very unique boat indeed and you can see I've cut the bow so that the the backbone is going to go a little bit higher than what the boat itself is so if I want to I can add on pieces to it or make it more stable or what have you but as you can see on the bottom on the table there's definitely some rise to it so it's definitely going to have chines we'll see some lines to it as it comes together but it's slowly but surely coming together this way now as you see these sections are secured by channeling into the wood itself and channeling into the pieces that I'm going to be using as the uh, the upper section of the boat itself so it all fits into place kind of like a well-designed Rubik's Cube there you go it goes in just like that and I've tried to cut the lines in the boat so that they all line up yeah so here we've got the the layout all the different sections and then the bow and that's what we've got lined up here all the different sections with a good section working up to the bow so yeah that's what we're at for part two now and we also have a stern section but as you can tell 
like I said, this is going to be a very, very long boat. I didn't say it was going to be a short boat, but it should still be stable though. Put it in a good, uh, I'd say a good 6 to 8 inch swell or chop, and it'll handle it no problem. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. And then as I'm working on this now, I've got strips. These strips I'm going to be putting in between the sections of hull to try to stiffen up the upper decks so that I'm ready for my siding and the bottom of the boat. So that should be probably the next time I talk to you folks. Anyhow, I'm going to get happening here. Wish me all the best of luck, and I'll talk to you uh, in the next time. Bye for now. BC Killick signing off.